Uh, let us start then. Uh, welcome to uh, this uh, meeting of the UN Sand and Dust Storm Coalition. Um, my name is Hossein Fadai. I am representing the Secretariat of the UN Environment Management Group. For some of you who might not know what it is, it is a coordination a group in the United Nations that uh, helps enhancing coordination on the environment across the UN system. This group has 51 UN agency members and it is chaired and hosted by the United Nations Environment Program. So are very, we are very privileged to uh, have uh, you in this meeting and have uh, uh, some of our UN organizations present here and we are delighted to um, present the work of the UN SDS coalition to you today. So we have a program today uh, for this session between now and 11 o'clock. And um, we are going to start by uh, welcoming remarks by our distinguished colleagues from UN Environment Program and UNCCD. It will be then followed by a presentation of the coalition by myself. And then uh, we will be uh, having a roundtable discussion on the sand and dust storm uh, by our distinguished uh, panelists from the UN agencies. Uh, they will present their agency's contributions as well as perspectives uh, for uh, collaborations uh, on the sand and dust storm. Um, and then that will be then followed by an interactive discussion between the audience and our panelists on uh, the needs as well as opportunities for collaboration on SDS issues at various levels. Uh, in the end, also, if uh, there are any interest by the audience and other stakeholders who would like to, to join this collective effort and make any commitments, that uh, uh, item will allow them to make such uh, statements and, and presentations. So this is the um, structure of uh, the day. Uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, invite uh, uh, Mr. Tim Christophenson, the head of UNEP delegation to the UNCCD COP um, and representative of UNEP uh, to this session uh, on behalf of the chair of the EMG as well to make uh, his uh, welcoming remarks. Tim, you have the floor. Thank you, Hossein. I think we have a sound issue still. Is, yeah. is it working now? Yeah. Can you hear me? Maybe we can pass the microphone. Maybe if it's much more the microphone. This is number eight. I think you should come and speak. Okay, thank you very much, Hussein, and good morning, everyone. My name is Tim Christofferson. I'm the coordinator of the Land, Water, and Climate Branch in UN Environment, and also responsible for preparing the United Nations Decade on Ecosystem Restoration, where we see a lot of linkages with the sand and dust storms issue. First of all, I'd like to thank our fellow UN agencies for their willingness to join this coalition and to work together to address this increasingly important topic that is aggravated by climate change. Also like to thank the Environment Management Group and Hossein and his team to, uh, for getting us this far to establish this coalition. Now it will be up to the agencies uh, that have signed up for this to fill this with life. We look forward to that process of strengthening collaboration with the other agencies and with member states to collaborate on sanded dust storms, for example, through early warning systems, through better ecosystem management, through restoration of 
dry areas where a lot of sand and dust is dislocated. And uh, none of us here in the room is old enough to remember the sand and dust storm that hit the United States in the 1920s and 30s. It was called the Great Dust Bowl. This was the largest internal migration in the United States when two million people fled from Texas and Oklahoma to California. Caused by wrong aggregation, wrong uh, agriculture techniques that loosened the soil and triggered large dust storms and it was a massive response from the US government and the US Army Corps of Engineers that stopped these sand and dust storms and made the plains fertile again. So this can be reversed with sufficient political will. We have a team here in the room, Nicholas Middleton, Martin Capelle, and of course Hossein Fadeh, who are all experts on this issue and also available at any time to answer questions on how to address sand and dust storms, why this is an important topic. So I will not go into much detail there because I think also the fellow UN agencies will perhaps talk about that. I would um, like to especially thank our host here, the UNCCD, for making available this space, the Rio Conventions Pavilion, and for bringing us all together. And with this, I would like to hand over to my colleague Uchang from the UNCCD Secretariat to welcome us. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Uchang Gang from the UNCC Secretariat, and um, I'm working on the specifically uh, sand and dust storm issues that relate to the policy making mostly. Uh, as uh, a, a Secretariat, I would like to welcome you all to the COP14 session happening here in India, and specifically for the SDS Day event today. Actually, this is a great opportunity for us to uh, overview on what we have been doing on sand and dust storms that was picked up by global community as an urgent environmental issue just not that long, three or five years ago. And I believe that uh, we have achieved a lot of um, um, progress in that regard. Um, as you may hear about that, uh, we have been collaborating with other uh, UN organizations in developing uh, um, the technical compendium for sand and dust storms and global source base map and a lot more uh, to become in a uh, good partnership and collaboration. collaboration. So uh, briefly, I would like to thank you again and welcome again. Please enjoy today. As the team uh, highlighted that we have uh, many experts around here. So if you have any questions, feel free to raise and um, uh, enjoy yourself. And lastly, I mean, this is um, prepared for uh, your parties, not for us uh, as um, enjoy our entertainment, but it's this session is prepared for uh, your, your, for your, um, I mean, for your. Interest. I'm sorry. Hmm? Hmm? Interest. For your interest. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, please enjoy the session and um, um, feel free to come to us ask any questions. Thank you. Oh, apologies. Uh, I have been requested to attend another meeting requested by the COP. Uh, plenary, so maybe I won't be um, stay here longer. But uh, at that point, if I know I can pre from that session, I will be back here and have more interesting time with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Xu Chang. Can you hear me now? Is this working? Yes. Thank you. So before we give the word to the other UN agencies, we have a brief presentation on what this coalition is, uh, the Sand and Dust Storm Coalition, and this will be given by Hossein. Please. Great. Thank you very much, uh, team. Uh, I hope everybody can hear me uh, well. So um, the purpose here is just for those who do not know what this uh, coalition is and uh, what its, uh, uh, you know, what are their, you know, its objectives and uh, what it has done so far. Uh, this presentation might be helpful in a very sort of summarized manner. So as you will see uh, from the first uh, uh, 
uh, slide, uh, you will see that the number of uh, UN entities have joined hands um, to create this uh, coalition as a collective effort uh, uh, in response to several calls by uh, member states uh, at various uh, governing bodies of uh, various UN entities uh, such as WHO, WMO, uh, ESCAP, UN Environment, and at the top of that by the UN General Assembly. So we have been uh, requested uh, to uh, support the needs of the member states um, with regards to the sand and the storm through several uh, uh, calls by, by the member states. Uh, and as a result of that, the UNEP Executive Director who has been tasked by the UN General Assembly resolution to create an interagency network on sand and dust and storm brought this proposal to uh, the uh, UN Environment Management Group, uh, which um, as a result of a discussion agreed to create a sand and dust and storm coalition. And that was done in September 2018. Uh, the main objectives and aims of uh, the coalitions are uh, fourfold uh, to promote and coordinate a collaborative UN response, to facilitate dialogue and exchange of knowledge, data, and best practices, to encourage and facilitate collaboration and capacity building. Uh, and to raise awareness and enhance preparedness and response. Uh, what we have done so far in establishing this coalition has been that uh, there has been a concept note that was uh, agreed by the UN agencies um, in the beginning just to uh, understand the importance of uh, the sand and dust storm and how uh, we could work together in response to that. Uh, agencies have nominated their focal points. 15 UN agencies have uh, agreed uh, to participate to this uh, work uh, together. Uh, and we have had a couple of meetings uh, so far uh, which has been focused to define the terms of reference for this coalition uh, and following which uh, a draft uh, a strategy and a, an action plan that would help uh, coordination of uh, this uh, collective work. Uh, uh, we have had also a couple of uh, technical workshops amongst the UN uh, agencies uh, hosted by World uh, Meteorological Organization and also uh, organized by UN Environment. These have really helped to bring on board a lot of technical expertise uh, from the UN system as well as uh, some other uh, you know, um, institutions such as academia and also uh, civil society, which have had uh, a lot of experience and, and, and expertise in this field. Um, uh, on the occasion of the uh, UNCCD COP15, uh, there was a proposal by UNCCD Executive Secretary to hold a SDS day here in the margins of the UNCCD COP in order also to respond to the calls by the UNCCD uh, in addressing the sand and the storm. And we are here today, uh, in fact, to respond to that call and to that invitation. Uh, we are here today to uh, uh, celebrate the launch of this coalition. Uh, we are ready to announce it. There will be uh, later on a, a, a launch event, uh, which also in a very formal manner will announce the establishment of the coalition. So I think we have done uh, and we have delivered uh, uh, with regards to the uh, you know, establishment of, of the coalition and what it has required. There might be some um, sort of uh, uh, extra work to be accomplished in terms of finalization of the strategy uh, and also an action plan. And once it is done, we can say and we can be very proud that the foundations for this coalition has been established and uh, that will pave the way for future uh, coordinated and coherent response by the UN system on the sand and dust storm. We uh, also have, uh, as a very practical, uh, hands-on uh, tool, uh, while we are developing these long-term strategies and approaches, uh, members of the coalition have uh, agreed to define and to develop uh, an SDS app that would be a tool which will be uh, used by the public, by you know, the normal stakeholders, in you know, helping them to forecast 
the uh, you know sand and dust storm events to get ready uh, the kind of uh, actions that they have to do to uh, receive the the minimum, the minimum harm, uh, and 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 then based on the existing knowledge, also link uh, this uh, sort of app to the existing information and knowledge on the sand and dust storm. So we are very uh, we are very hopeful to. Uh, accomplish this task also and to provide that app and make it accessible to the all stakeholders. Um, I would like to bring this uh, figure here that also shows the way uh, members of the coalition have agreed to uh, address the different uh, sort of elements of the life cycle of the uh, sand and dust storm utilizing the uh, so-called DRM, disaster risk, uh, disaster risk management approach, and also the SDS life cycle approach as the methodology for collaboration on SDS issues. And as you can see that for each cycle of the um, lifestyle and the life cycle of the sand and dust storm, there has been a nomination of uh, lead and co-lead agencies to, to take uh, leadership uh, in, um, in doing the necessary activity with regards to each um, part of the cycle. And obviously there will be a cross-sectorial collaboration amongst these uh, various uh, clusters or working groups uh, around the cycle. Um, uh, this also shows the areas of uh, works of these working groups. Um, the working groups will be focusing on facilitating information exchange, capacity building and training, mobilizing resources and fundraising, advocacy and awareness raising. This has already been said, the approach for the work of the working groups, which is, uh, as I said, around mitigation, preparedness, response, recovery, and prevention. Uh, what's up next? Uh, we would like to utilize this opportunity today to have a further discussion with you to understand uh, if these have actually captured the key concerns with regards to combating sand under the storm and utilizing actually sand under the storm for an opportunity for enhancing you know, uh, the objectives of the sustainable development, especially the realization of the SDGs, and if there are any issues that we have uh, to bring on board. And we also would like to identify new partners that can also join the coalition and to support its objectives and its activities, especially from the private sector, academia, and uh, other research uh, institutions. This is in a nutshell uh, what it is, uh, this coalition. Um, we have been really benefiting from uh, uh, technical expertise of our member agencies, uh, uh, including from UN Environment, uh, World Meteorological Organization, and UNSCAP, and the others uh, that have been really pioneer in this area. And we look forward uh, to the continuation of this uh, collective work. So I hope that this has uh, given you a, a snapshot of uh, what it is, uh, and that would help uh, the sort of the, the, the roundtable, uh, sort of the dialogue and, and interactions among the panelists on this topic. With that, Tim, back to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hossein. That was interesting for an insight. Uh, before we give the word to each of the agencies, let me just pause, pause briefly and see if there's any question for clarification to Hossein on what the coalition is and what it does. If that's not the case, we'll move on and give the floor to the partner organizations that are here. There are many more, some of them are in other sessions and some of them you will see later during the day because there's a full day Today on sand and dust storms, uh, different agencies will come at different times, speak about different topics. So uh, please stay tuned and look also at the other um, sessions today here in the Rio Conventions Pavilion. Please, um, let's go uh, just by order of seating here. And if you could also briefly introduce yourself, which agency you're from, um, and then speak a bit about your agency's role in this coalition. We're starting with Anne, um, please. Thank you very much, Tim and Hussein. Um, my name is Anne Jubna. I am uh, representing the United Nations Development Program in the coalition. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, a uh, very good morning to you all. 
The United Nations Development Program strongly welcomes the formation of the UN Coalition on Sand and Dust Storms, given the importance that sand and dust storms can have on impacting the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals at country level. I think it is now widely recognized that unsustainable land management practices can cause or exacerbate sand and dust storm phenomena, and that they pose a serious challenge to the de sustainable development of affected countries and regions, especially in Africa and Asia. Mitigating sand and dust storms at their source through addressing desertification and land degradation therefore presents an effective and pragmatic entry point in that context. And supporting countries to implement effective sustainable land management practices can help to mitigate and to adapt to the adverse, the adverse effects of sand and dust storms. They can help to control the anthropogenic drivers of sand and dust storms, such as unsustainable use of agricultural land, deforestation, overgrazing, depletion of water sources and industrial activities. And integrating these anthropogenic source mitigation measures into countries' efforts to achieve land degradation neutrality can also, can also help advancing national efforts to combat sand and dust storms. UNDP is supporting countries to design practical interventions for implementation in degraded landscapes, working with national and subnational institutions and land users across a very diverse set of actors to pilot and upscale technologies and approaches to avoid, reduce, and reverse land degradation. Our work on land degradation is highlighted in our position paper for this COP entitled Combating Land Degradation, Securing a Sustainable Future. That paper is available in the exhibition, and please, I would like to invite you all to take a closer look at this. UNDP will continue to promote an integrated approach to tackling land degradation and desertification with entry points for food systems, climate, inequality, and migration. UNDP will contribute to the global restoration goal of 350 million hectares of deforested and de degraded lands and will support the conservation and sustainable management of another 500 million hectares by 2030, with an emphasis on land that can achieve multiple development and climate dividends. UNDP will support at least 30 countries in effectively addressing the drivers and the root causes of migration and forced displacement including climate change and land degradation. Moreover, we will support a cohort of 20 plus countries to address inequality and discrimination, including lack of land rise and poor access to credit and technology in marginalized land dependent communities. We will continue assisting countries to identify access, combine, and sequence environmental finance, including from the Jeff Trust Fund and Jeff Managed Funds, the Green Climate Fund and bilateral donor and private sector funding for sustainable land management and restoration. And so drawing on its long experience and expertise in sustainable land management and addressing land degradation, we are very much looking forward to be an active part of this coalition and to work closely with all partners to help effective, affected countries to mitigate 
and adapt to the adverse effects of sand and dust storms. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anne, and uh, thank you also for reminding us about the ecosystem linkages of sand and dust storms and the linkages to restoration and also the linkages to migration, which for all of us um, is an issue of increasing concern. Please, uh, Uchan, can I hand over to you? And I assume you will tell us also a bit more about how this relates to the policy objectives of the UNCCD. Thank you, Tim. Good morning, everyone, again. Um, yes, I mean, Santa Dostoms is very um, important issue for us. As you saw yesterday in the, in the plenary, many countries are really keen on uh, action to um, mitigate the impact of sand and dust storms. Of course, I mean, the, as a policy, from the policy